creating YouTube, like the title says, health is fragile. Even if a person is perfectly healthy at this very minute, they won't always be healthy. Accident, disease, and of course, age will cause injury to all of us. Even if it's a slow progression of weakness as we get older, we lose our coordination, our eyesight isn't quite as sharp. We will eventually need the support of a healthcare system. Even if it is something as simple as eyeglasses or a bridge, we will need it. And if the healthcare system isn't there, or if it's there and we can't access it because of financial inability, we're going to suffer for it. And you can be perfectly healthy as far as your lifestyle is concerned. You can eat right. You can exercise. You can be tobacco free. You can be chemically free as far as recreational chemicals are concerned. You can do everything you can in your, in, in, within your power. And you can still end up sick. An example of that is my friend Amelia. Incredibly healthy lifestyle. Exercise regularly. Ate well non-smoker, doesn't drink, doesn't use chemicals of any kind. As clean as you can be, as straight as you can be as far as taking care of one's health, and yet she is dealing with thyroid cancer right now. She didn't have thyroid, yeah, can't, thyroid glands any longer. They're gone. There's a scar that goes from here to here on her neck at the moment. And she's slowly recovering, but she still has to undergo radiation, and she'll have to take thyroid medication until the day she dies. And she did nothing wrong. It's no lifestyle choice that she made that led her to where she is now. It just happened. And a society that doesn't support people when things just happen is fundamentally broken. Fortunately, my friend Emilia lives in a society, the UK, lives in a culture in the, in the, in the UK uh, in specific, that actually says, okay, you know, we're not going to let you die because you can't personally afford all the treatments required to overcome cancer. We're not going to require you and your family to go bankrupt and lose your home because you have gotten cancer. But in the United States, we will let people die. In the United States, we will let people go bankrupt. We will let people lose their homes because they got cancer or any other disease. Now, some people are going to be fortunate and they'll need very little health care within their life or up to the point that they are at this time in their life. Some of us are as lucky, such as Amelia. Some of us have less serious issues that are chronic such as diabetes, retinopathy, and, and neuropathy in my case. Not to mention the simple things like glasses needing a bridge. And if it weren't for different types of insurance, these things would be outside my control, would out, be outside my ability to reach them. I could not get the support I need to take care of my health as best I can by having the right kind of glasses, making sure my teeth are as in best condition they are, even though life handed me the genes that said, you will need glasses someday because your eyesight's going to get bad. Or your teeth are going to be horrible because the genes that your parents handed you. Or you are going to have a genetic predisposition to depression, diabetes, alcoholism. I didn't ask for any of that. But that's what it is. And I do what I can to mitigate those factors and, and to control them as best I can. But I can't do everything. And I need the support of a healthcare system. And fortunately, I work a full time job and can afford to cover my own insurance. But there are many people in America that can't. If insurance rates are going up and up and up, and people's access to them is going down. Well, thanks to the Affordable Care Act, many Americans got health care insurance for the first time in their entire lives. But right now, the GOP is doing everything in its power to completely and utterly gut that program and to replace it with a program that is going to kick 24 million people off the rolls of insurance, which I believe I read one paper said that's going to kill 
43,000 Americans every single year. 43,000 Americans will die. Because lying, cheating, thieving, immoral bastards have decided that handing a $6 billion tax break to their buddies is more important than the lives of people living in America. Yeah. Not to mention that I believe Congress is 91% male, and they've decided that women don't need health care specific to being a woman. They don't need Planned Parenthood. And some of them have even gone so far to say things that, like, you know, sexual assault, rape, pregnancy, they're all pre-existing conditions, so we don't have to cover any kind of medical conditions related to them, such as mental health or physical health or postpartum depression, support, none of that. Pre-existing conditions, I don't need that crap. Because 91% of Congress are old white men who just don't give a fuck about women. We are the richest nation on earth, possibly in the entire history of the world. Every other industrialized nation other than America has solved the universal health care issue in many different ways. We have examples to go by. We could pick the best there is. Because we have them all laying out in front of us. We could put a, get together a system that would be tailor-made to fit America. And yet we don't. What we do is we keep giving more money to the wealthy. And standing back and let more and more people in America die. As those in power are immoral bastards. And the American people that support the GOP, this is your fault. The responsibility for this lays upon your shoulders. If you have voted for the GOP, you are responsible for every single one of those 43,000 deaths that are going to occur. You did this. You did this with intent. Some may claim, well, I did it in ignorance because I was voting for policy X, Y, or Z your responsibility to understand what the agenda is of your party. And you didn't. And you voted for him anyway. Because her emails. Yeah. Screw that noise. And screw your complete inability to feel sympathy, empathy, and compassion for other people and supporting an agenda that doesn't care about them either.